Here are the facts. There are far more attractive women in the world than there are, than there are six to seven figure earners who have their shit together. As such, it is incumbent upon you, ladies, the less valuable commodity, to prove yourself to the more valuable commodity, the man. And women who don't understand this get used for nothing but three years and then wonder why he never took you seriously. It's because you acted like you were the prize. So here's lesson number two for the ladies, and you really need to pay attention. Number one, you're the only one making sacrifices. She continues, you shouldn't have to give everything up for love, but every now and then, you both have to make sacrifices for your partner and your relationship as a whole. Your boyfriend isn't holding up his end of the deal. This relationship has become all about him and nothing about you. While he won't, while he won't even give up one night with the boys for you, you offer, you offer him everything on a silver platter, WTF. Again, she is self-reporting here. She's talking about bums. She's not talking about men of value. She's not talking about the men she wants. If you're a man, who has himself together, meaning you're fit, you're a high earner or on your way to being a high earner, you've got a great job or you're an entrepreneur, you're always improving, always looking for the next mountain to conquer and so on and so forth, women will move heaven and earth to be with you. In other words, they will risk it all for you. Modern women never feel the need to risk it all if they don't think you're worth risking it all for. Ladies, if you recognize that a man you're into has potential, he is not going to be all in with you if you don't go all in on him. Now I know that the, what, four and a half, five women watching this are probably screaming, well, <clears throat> why should I have to sacrifice everything for a man if he's not sacrificing everything for me? Well, there are two answers to that question. The first answer to that question is if he is a man in demand, he has already paid that price. He's already made those sacrifices. He worked his ass off in his 20s. He stayed fit. He worked crazy hours. He forewent chasing cheap thrills in the form of drinking, drugs, and or women. He wasn't at the bar or the club every weekend with his useless friends. He stayed at home and grinded while his boys were taking Vegas trips two, three times a year. He started his side hustle when he was still working full time, which means he is sacrificing even more because he had even less time. Ladies, you have to understand that if you're interested in a man, he has already sacrificed a lot to get to the point to where he is attractive to you. Otherwise, you would not be attracted to him. The men you want have already paid the price to be where they are, and they are not going to sacrifice anything for you because he has already sacrificed enough to make himself attractive to you. Now, the second reason why you need to make all the sacrifices up front is that there are more of you than there are of him. This is simple, the law, the law of supply and demand applies here. The more available something is, the less valuable it is. The less available something is, the more valuable it is. Here are the facts, guys. Here are the facts. There are far more attractive women in the world than there are, than there are six to seven figure earners who have their shit together. As such, it is incumbent upon you, ladies, the less valuable commodity, to prove yourself to the more valuable commodity the man. And women who don't understand this get used for nothing but butt sex for three years and then wonder why he never took you seriously. It's because you acted like you were the prize. So here's lesson number two for the ladies, and you really need to pay attention. Ladies, you are never the prize to the men you want. Let me repeat that. You are never the prize to the men you want. It's not how it works. The men you want are in the top 10 to 15%. This is what makes them the prize. And if you don't treat him as such, he'll simply put you in the recreational use category and he will smash you until you finally wise up to the fact that he will never commit to you. Ladies, if you want a man in demand, you have to sacrifice a hell of a lot. If you're not willing to do this, then the men you want won't be willing to commit to you. And it's as simple as that.